may have a vast amount of power within you, but do you know how to show others you're not someone who should be messed with? Then take inspiration from these 10 scenes, because here are 10 guys who flex their power without breaking a sweat. Some hyped up scenes are coming your way, so be ready. Here we go. Number 10, Saitama flexing at Hero Test. <laughs> You don't always need a one punch to show you are the one with power. Saitama was bored with his one punch, but when Genos took him to the hero test, he did not hesitate to flex his strength. While the other heroes dismissed him as someone weak and without powers, he soon turned the tables as he won each test one after the other. Note that one is just an understatement. He broke the roof while high jumping and finished the race within one millisecond, so it's safe to say he broke several Guinness records in the process. Saitama may be the one punch man, but there are so many things he's better at rather than his one punch. This is enough proof for it. Number 9. Rimuru Tempest Taming the Orcs <laughs> To prove yourself is to show that you can take the baddest and toughest boss in the world. And even though many tougher people are to come, at that moment, the orc leader was the highest ranked villain in the anime. Rimuru at first tried to take him down the old fashioned way, but when you're a slime, why resort to magic and fists? Being the cunning person he is, Rimuru soon devoured the orc, and when I say devoured, I meant that he wrapped around his body and ate him whole. No doubt it was the best dinner he had in a long time, but that's not the point. The point is that nobody messes with Rimuru and comes out uneaten. Number 8. Anno showing his power. Anos, <laughs> with Thanos missing a T and an H, is no doubt even stronger than the Mad Titan himself. And let's not forget he is the main character of a power fantasy. There are so many instances we could point out, but what's better than first impressions? When he goes to the demon school, there are plenty of people to challenge him. The first person is a brain dead noble lord who seemed to forget Anos is the main character of the story. Anos soon shows that he is not only the main character, but the demon lord as well. He does this by repeatedly burning the man over and over again and bringing him back to life. All of this just to prove a point. Number 7. Rock Lee showing his power in his fight with Gara. <laughs> king of Sand versus the King of Martial Arts. Who would win? Who would get a broken leg? Well, the last part is unnecessary because what matters in this video is who flexed the most. And without a doubt, Rock Lee flexed harder than his sensei. At first, he seemed to take the beating, but then Guy revealed that he was actually wearing weights. He removes them and then the beast comes in. Naruto may have a demon fox inside him, but Rock Lee is the guy with Bruce Lee inside of him. He proved that he's more than just a minor character and finally taught the King of Sand a good lesson about underestimating people. Number 6. Hiro Shishigami causing the road massacre. <laughs> Inuyashiki was an interesting study of morales and the minds of people, but it also didn't hesitate to show the powers of the protagonist as well as the antagonist. Shishigami here may look like an average high school student, but if you see him on the road, it is best to turn back and start running. He soon manipulates every vehicle on the road, causing some to crash, others to run out of track, and to create perfect chaos on the peaceful street. It may look like all the guy did was wave his hands like in an opera, but when Shishigami starts waving hands, it means danger is approaching, and someone is about to show off his power in a very, very brutal way. Number 5. Todoroki showing off his fire powers. There's a statement that says we all need some pushing to show what we hide within us, but who thought that Todoroki would take it literally? In the very climax of the tournament arc, Deku is pitted against the cold prince of ice in a deadly battle. I know the teachers were watching, but this is a shonen anime, so most tournament arcs soon forget their rules. Moving back to our scene, when Deku motivates Todoroki to show his true power, he doesn't hesitate. 
Right in front of the eyes of his own father, he uses his flames and then shows his true colors. He was half ice, half fire, and full badass. And this is why he's always better than the screaming Bakugo. Todoroki knows how to show off with style. Number 4, Aizen versus Everyone. Who is the deadliest man in anime history? No, not Madara, not Kaguya, or any other overpowered god. It is Lord Aizen from Bleach. What would be your reaction when someone who looked like a side character suddenly turned to be the toughest villain of the entire series? And then what would your reaction be when he takes out all the good guys one by one without breaking a sweat? This man isn't overpowered. He goes beyond the levels of overpowered to a whole innovative level. You know what they say. They said nothing could kill Aizen. So Aizen found nothing and killed it. Number 3, Zenetsu awakening his powers. You chase after a blonde haired boy and he falls down unconscious. Now, someone who has watched Demon Slayer would know the best thing to do is to turn back and run. But then again, demons aren't humans. Zenetsu was always this weak and crying side character who always felt like a burden to our other two characters. But then imagine everyone's surprise when he literally kills a demon in one hit. Turns out Zenetsu only had practiced one attack, but he had practiced it enough to flex it in the coolest way possible. If things go this way, he might actually have a chance to have Tanjiro as his brother-in-law. Number 2, Aaron attacking Marley. What other way to invade an enemy nation rather than hiding inside enemy grounds, revealing yourself at the most important moment, and then going on a massacre while one punching everyone in the face? That is Aaron Yeager for you. He seems to have come a long way from the boy who screamed and cried at everything. This time, Aaron thinks strategically, uses his power wisely, and even knows how to rely on his friends in the most crucial moments. He punched a titan right during his transformation ate that same Titan alive using another Titan, and then once again punched the hero of Marley in the face. The next time when you see Attack on Titan fans calling him the best anime main character of all time, don't deny it. Because when Aaron Yeager flexed hard, the cause was an entire Marleyan military unit. Number 1, Satoru Gojo's Domain Expansion. When the coolest main character in the show flexes his power, it's sure gonna be something amazing. Gojo may look like a cool, chill guy to the outside, but underestimating him is a good way to get your head pulled out from your body. From the moment he appeared, we knew Gojo wasn't using his powers to the fullest potential. But oh boy, who thought his fullest potential was creating a separate space of infinity to trap his target? Jogo learned his lesson the hard way. Normally when someone brags about their power, you can call them stupid, but when an anime character brags that he could even destroy everyone if he wants, it's time to take him seriously, especially if his hair is white. So when Gojo flexed his power, he flexed hard enough to leave the demon with the headless body. So there goes the best power flexing scenes in anime. Having power is good, but what's the point if you don't show off a little? As usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be updated as soon as we release a new video. Stay safe, anime fans, and I'll see you in the next video.